Good afternoon. This is I, Eli, the Ranger guy again. Yes, we are covering the Ford Ranger, the all new Ford Ranger. And well, today, as you can see behind me, I have a trailer. It's a small 14 foot trailer, and we measured it going from the end of the trailer. All the way to the tongue of the trailer. Yes, you want to get to the very end. Why? Because when you tow with the Ford Ranger, it's going to be important. Let's show you as to why. But let's cover a little bit of this 14 foot trailer we're hauling. It's got a 10 foot bed. Uh, it's only about a six foot high ceiling. Why? Because I have to duck down. No, I'm not six foot. Uh, it's probably a little shorter. I'm 5'8, and I have to duck down when I walk into this trailer. But either way, Let's go over some of the basics on this trailer, and we'll also cover some of the basics and weight and towing and everything else. Now, I'm not an expert, just an everyday Joe, just showing you how to do things with the Ford Ranger and how it's working out for me. Okay, but let's go over some things with the trailer first. First of all, you're going to want to know what you're towing. To find that out, we've got to find a placard that we have here on the trailer. Now, the Ranger has 270 horses and 310 torque all coming out of a four-cylinder turbo engine, direct fuel injection. First of all, let's look at the trailer. Let's see where we're towing, because we can only tow 7,500 pounds at this Ranger. Yes, 7,500. You don't have a tow package, you're gonna have to add all that stuff on. Yes, you can add it on. Tow hitched, wiring, all that stuff. It can be done. All Rangers made the same, same powertrain, one choice. That's all you get. 10-speed transmission, four-cylinder engine, turbo. That's it, that's all they have. Well, for now, anyway, 21, 2021 is going to bring? Nobody knows. So anyway, let's take a look at the placard on the trailer, see what we're towing, make sure we're towing safe. Okay, every trailer is going to have something like this, something similar to it. As you can see here, this trailer is, says here, the combined weight of cargo should never exceed 1856. So that's our cargo weight. Now what is our, what you call gross vehicle weight rating? Total gross vehicle weight rating is 2,990 pounds so you know we're not going to be uh, nowhere near that 7,500 we're going to be towing at max 2,990 why because you should never exceed 1,856 on the trailer and uh, well I don't think we're going to do that today um, you can see that you know we're just towing furniture and whatnot else now um, we're in South Texas it's always hot as a dog over here um, so that being said few nice features this Ford Ranger has we do have lane assist we do have lane keeping we do have trailer sway um, all that I'm gonna go over it right now show you the goodies we get when we tow with the Ford Ranger all right let's see here let's go one of the goodies we get with the Ford Ranger is right there see that rear view camera it's got this little black line that's the center of the truck you can as you can see it lines up with the ball and hitch all right right there of course you get where the trucks going as you see everything move that's the way your tires see those little white lines coming out that's where your tires are kind of angled and that's how the rear end's going to go i cheated a little bit for this video so right now we're just going to go straight back okay here we go let's go straight back Another very nice feature, you got this plus button right there. Look at that. Ball and hitch right there. Let's line it up. Let's get her connected. All right there. All right, we got it. Another thing, make sure you have the right equipment. Make sure your tow hitch can tow up to that. Make sure your ball and whatever it is you stick in there, your... Uh, your ball and hitch, make sure they can uh, hold up to that 7,500 pounds or make sure they can hold the weight of whatever it is you're carrying. Okay, I have here a U-Haul hitch right here. And um, it says here, max load, 6,000 pounds. Tongue weight, 600 pounds. So that should be on your trailer, 10% of whatever it is that you have on the trailer. So if you have a 7,500 pound trailer, you should have about a tongue weight of 750 pounds. So you can see this does not meet, uh, well, 
the truck can do a lot more than that, but this is what this does. If you want to get yourself a Gen Y, uh, I know they are whatever, or Kurt, whatever other brand you want, you can. So if you're going to tow 7,500 pounds with these uh, Ford Ranger, you're going to want one that can do at least 7,500. This only does six. Our ball here on top, it's upside down, but it only does six as well. So we're well within our weight limits. Remember, tow is safe, my friends. Not only that. See what this is a draw tight, draw tight hitch that I had put on here. There you go. And there's all the specs for it right there. 7,500 pounds. Uh, let's see, max tongue weight with weight distributing hitch, 1125. Uh, max gross. Uh, see here, max gross trailer weight, 8,000 pounds. Uh, max gross tongue 1200 so you can see the numbers there the thing is you never want to exceed what the vehicle can do so uh, of course we have there 7500 pounds okay once you have the trailer lowered lock the pin you might have to push the trailer around a little bit to do this or your vehicle I have the parking brake on so right now I'm going to push the trailer down you want to do is secure it hole right here see it let's get that hole secured you got to put a safety pin in there otherwise this might come up on you as you're driving disconnecting the trailer allowing it to fall off not a good thing I use this lock it serves as both a pin and a lock so nobody can disconnect it and drive away with my trailer Okay, let's get some safety chains hooked up. What you're gonna to wanna to do is this side here. Connect it to the other side. Now there's two points I can connect from. This right here, or right here what the truck came with. You can barely see it. And what I'm gonna do is since on this side, I'm gonna hook up to the other side, but to the vehicle itself. Take the other chains. Here we go, same thing. I always put them with the hooks out. There we go, all hooked up. Now, don't not forget the lights. Okay. All right, lights hooked up. What I always do is have a buddy help me check out the lights. Don't have one right now, but as you can see, I got the lights on and the emergency blinkers. Everything is blinking. Make sure your marking lights are on, which as you can see, they are. Hope you can see that. I can't see it because of the glare, but I can see of, uh, when I turn around. Same thing the other side. Go ahead. Sure everything is working. Once they work, good to go. Okay, I'm fighting with the sun right now. But here, let's get you to there's your blind spot. That's why you need the trailer lengths. It works with the trailer, that's why it's asking for trailer lengths. The mirrors are kind of small. I'm gonna give you some driving impressions here a little bit later on and tell you a little bit more about it. Car cross traffic when you back up is turned off. Because, well, you got a trailer back there. Driver alert, you can keep that on. Lane keeping, works with the trailer. You can set all that. Rear park aid. Well, we have a trailer connected. So, of course, it's disconnected. Tire pressures. Well, I keep track of my tire pressures when I tow. There it is, trailer sway. What that does, like I said, you have the, the, dog, the tail wagging the dog. This will apply brakes to prevent the sway. Best way to do that is drive safe. Best way, drive safe. And this right here will be a feature you will never use. I don't know if it works. I do not want to test it out. Okay, as I was saying before, this uh, Ranger does come with a few unique... Uh, all the Rangers come with this unique uh, process for the trailers. Cross traffic alert deactivated. Okay. 
Now what we're going to do here we are going to go to blind spot. It's already programmed in my Ford Ranger. But what you're going to want to do here is when you first connect your trailer, first time I ever did it, as you can see here, it's under that's driver assist blind spot trailer and trailer links that one right there you can adjust whatever trailer you like see that I have trailer a B and C um, I do haul those two trailers frequently so uh, I'm hauling 15 foot more than anything else so that's what I put in what you want to do here is trailer it doesn't know what trailer I have so if I'm hauling trailer B I just hit B but I'm not I'm trolling hate hauling trailer A so I hit A now trailer links if you were to reset this you can go to trailer a we do have a 14 foot trailer all I got to do here is a foot in width or, or less yes okay to confirm tire length trailer length 33 or less yes 15 you can see it goes in increments closest one to us is a 15 give me a moment I have to change batteries on my camera Okay, we're back, and we were here with trailer lengths. A, 30, 33 feet or less, yes. Um, the instruction manual does not recommend towing a trailer longer than 33 feet. 18, 15, 12, it goes in three foot increments. The trailer was 14 feet, I know, because I measured with a measuring tape. So it's 14, so let's go to our closest, which is 15. Go ahead and OK to confirm. Trailer length set to 15. So now when I go here to trailer, trailer A is 15. Voila. Now let's see here, I'm gonna put this in drive. I am towing in tall hole mode. So there we go. Now we are ready to drive a trailer. Okay, so uh, I just filled up with gas right now and uh, getting back on the expressway. Um, drove a few miles, just getting until traffic was kind of stabilized and uh, made sure my load was okay. It wasn't, uh, not in the bed anyway. So uh, went ahead and secured that. That's fixed. Chains are good. Everything's good. Lights are good. So back on the road and some impressions on the vehicle. Um, first of all, I mean, this thing's great. Um, go down the road and came up to some uh, construction on the expressway. Well, it had to slow down. As I hit the brake, the engine automatically downshifts for me. I am in tow mode and the engine downshifted for me. So uh, helping, helping me use the engine transmission to help brake. So that was real nice. I uh, really enjoy it. Um, yes, it's a short trailer. I know that. It's not that much weight. Um, it's not over 3,000 pounds anyway. Uh, or doing more than 3,000 pounds, I would definitely want some type of surge brake, electronic brake, you know, electric brake, you know, something like that. But uh, the thing I don't like, the Ranger, uh, it doesn't really quite stop that weight. Brakes are good, they'll work, but uh, not like a full size or heavy duty uh, pickup truck, you know, would stop that load. Of course, they got beefy brakes made for that, just of course, a Ranger. But other than that, it's doing excellent. Um, tail's not wagging the dog, so that's a big plus, yay! So that's good. Um, other than that, we've got all kinds of features on here. I do have my lane assist on right now, uh, I, I do have my uh, computer here in front, uh, measured the uh, trailer length for me uh, I, I had to input the information for the trailer links and uh, once I got that done my uh, bliss works the, which is the blind spot so that's real good um, right now where I'm just cruising down the road doing uh, uh, 70 miles per hour I'm not gonna go any faster than that just because uh, again I'm driving slow not because of weight I have towed 6,000 pounds before um, that was a backhoe and this thing handled it like a champ 
uh, no problem. Um, towed it really well. Uh, had surge brakes. Awesome towing experience. I'm going slow because I got furniture in the back. I don't want it falling down. I don't want it falling off the bed. I don't want it, you know, scraping around and, and inside that box trailer as we're driving down the road. As you can tell, you know, it's not always a smooth road. It's bumpy. So I'm trying to take care of the furniture. You know, I wanted to get home one piece. So uh, that being said, it's driving really good. Goes up the hills really well. Um, turbo definitely kicks in. Gas mileage. Uh, don't worry about gas mileage. It's a pickup truck. You're towing. Getting about 13, so yeah, that's the way it is. Other than that, it's uh, really nice, handles good. Uh, when the road gets you know, those little waves in there, you can't feel the trailer kind of pull you, so the trailer starts to move and kind of you do this little rocking motion with the trailer pulling and tugging on the, the vehicle, and the vehicle trying to tug on the trailer, so it doesn't quite do it in unison. So you get that, uh, might change for different trailers different trailer, trailer lengths, things of that nature, science, I'm not going to get into it, but uh, other than that, doing pretty good, uh, anything else pops up, I'll let you know. Been a very long day, I'm here with my uh, Port Ranger, and uh, well, I am helping my stepdaughter move, so uh, what I have here is a small little box trailer. You can see it right there in the background. And well, you can see what I have here on the inside. I do have it fully loaded. How much weight? I don't know. Uh, the trailer carries 1,800 pounds. Gross GVR is um, 29.90, and it carries 18.80. So that's what we're looking at. My pickup truck is also, uh, I got some very heavy pellets on the bottom. I got this, uh, I made that little crafty uh, thing there. It's a uh, balcony bar. Hang it over a balcony, as you see up there. It hangs over and then it makes a table, creating a bar. So, and that's a bed frame that did not fit inside of here. It did, but uh, uh, I had to take everything out had to take it in slant it and then make it go up so I already had everything in there and yeah I wasn't gonna move it out and then do that I figured hey we'll put it in top of the Ranger that's where the balcony bar was gonna go anyway so it's not going to go anywhere um, I have to hook up my trailer um, I am uh, I got the bar on there I'm very exhausted please excuse uh, the sweat and uh, whatnot else but it's very tiresome but we are gonna go on a road trip um, I did carry this trailer empty and about 600 pounds of mesquite just yesterday uh, rode really well. Um, the 500 pounds in the bed made this truck go from jumpy to riding like a Cadillac. Really enjoyed the ride. Oh, I, I do have some of the inside. Um, let's see here. I do have some of my inside as well packed up. So a uh, bunch of dishes and pots and pans. So. I am pretty loaded and we're gonna take this out on a road trip. I am in Austin, Texas and I got about a four hour drive ahead of me so we're gonna go ahead and see how this drives. It is about uh, 6 18 in the afternoon so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the trailer connected and uh, see how she does. Um, I can tell you she probably will squat a little bit. Um, let's see here. Okay we're back. I have uh, let's see here I'm going to measure from the center of the hub to wherever they go straight up. Holding the camera with one hand. Holding the stick in the other. I cannot. Okay. Haha. -ha, got it. All right. We're going to go ahead and measure here real quick. Uh, let's get this straight. Cut the wheel in half right here. And make a line underneath it. Okay, and there's our line. Okay, we're gonna call that before. I know I got a little bit of weight in here. Uh, I probably got about 300 pounds in the vehicle total, maybe. Uh, so let's go ahead and measure here real quick before weight. All right, let's connect the trailer and see what see what happens. 
Okay, well we got the trailer connected. Oh, one thing. Trailer light. And we said let there be light. And for trailers it was good. Let's check out the squat. I don't know how much weight's in there, I just know we packed it. This is the original line. We go again in the middle. Cut the tire in half, right down the axle right there. Squat, I'd say we got about an inch. Yeah, about an inch of squat. Not bad, Not bad for a Ford Ranger. Let's go take a ride, see what she can do. Okay, so those are some uh, small basics of towing. Um, remember, when you tow, uh, especially, uh, well just towing in general, make sure that all your equipment matches. Uh, the Ford Ranger is rated for 7,500 pounds to tow. Um, payload is a little different depending on what, what kind of model you have. Um, I'm not going to go into a big lengthy discussion as in payload and towing capacity. I'll, I'll, there's a lot of videos out there you can kind of kind of figure it out. Um, so the more payload you have the easier it is to, to of course uh, tow more and to carry more. Anyway, going on, always make sure your equipment's the right equipment. If you're towing a 7,000 pound trailer, the uh, ball and receiver hitch I have wouldn't work. They're only rated for 6,000. So I would need a whole different receiver and a ball for that. Um, that's very important because if you're towing 6,000 pounds and your, your ball is only rated for two, well, big possibility of something breaking. So uh, other than that, Ford Ranger did pretty good towing. Uh, gas mileage, um, uh, depending where I was, on some hills is about 13 uh, MPGs. Uh, most of the time I think I got about 15, 16 on the expressway. I'm um, not too concerned about it. I know some people are. Um, it's a pickup truck. Um, towed what I needed to tow. Um, when I do tow 6,000 pounds, uh, the trailer I have, or it, it's a rental from Home Depot. It's one of those backhoe kind of things. It's got surge brakes, but uh, anything above 3,000 pounds, I know some states have 3,500 pounds, you need a e-brake or, you know, it's by law, but definitely have an e-brake or surge brakes, the, uh, the brakes in the Ford Ranger, they do great to stop itself, but once you add some weight to that, well, the brakes don't want to stop all that load behind you, just keep that in mind. Uh, they do stop, but give yourself a lot of extra distance in order to stop and to tow safely. Of course, don't be driving down the roads at 100 miles per hour. Uh, the Ford Ranger does have uh, trailer sway. Uh, so if your trailer starts to sway and you start going into this big motion here, uh, what will happen is the truck senses that with the sensors and everything else and it starts applying brake to get you back under control. The safest thing to do is always uh, drive within reasonable limits. Uh, just because it's a speed limit doesn't mean that's the speed you should drive. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, just drive safe and uh, you should tow okay. Tow within your limits and always use proper equipment. Be safe while towing. Give yourself lots of extra room and you should be okay. Other than that, um, well, second video I have posted out. So uh, learning experience and making videos as well. So I hope you enjoy the content. And uh, I will have future content coming as well. And uh, thank you for watching.